So what do you get when you buy flies from overseas, like from Kenya, for example? Well, there's a misconception as to what happens when you buy some materials and resources overseas in the fly fishing world. Today I want to share with you a story from a fairly recent partner of mine. Uh, his name is Wilson. And Wilson has a pretty incredible story that might change your mind or form an opinion for you on what you really get when you buy flies from Kenya. With over 30 years experience with fulling mills as well as being the branch manager in Nairobi for the company itself, a manufacturing commercial tying plant that produces thousands and thousands of flies, dare I say millions, for many of the companies you buy flies from. He is an experienced tire, and tying flies has produced some incredible opportunities for him that he would not be able to have if it weren't for this industry. Since starting his own company, buying flies from Wilson has provided schooling for his three children. Life in Kenya can be very challenging, and so Privatization of schools for some children is the safest and easiest way for them to get a quality education. And starting a small business is challenging. He's overcome this with his skill set and his go-to attitude. And it's fairly admirable considering he's putting himself in a situation for a potential loss in just in order to make sure his kids can get an education. So buying flies from Wilson not only provided his children with an education both in primary and university, but also allowed him to feed his children and his family. It's something that often gets overseen when we think about, oh, we want to buy from certain places here and there. But although you're not buying from somebody maybe down the road from you, you are still providing someone or someone's family with an opportunity that they likely wouldn't have been able to otherwise. So next time you're buying flies or you hear from somebody, who has bought flies from someplace that is not down the road. Remember that although it is not local, which I do suggest you support your local fly shops, remember that you're still doing a wonderful job for certain people. And for $3.50 a dozen for flies, I've noticed pretty good quality stuff coming from somebody with such great experience in Nairobi. And now I'd like to send it over to Wilson in Kenya to show us how he ties a royal wolf and shows you the quality and standard that he likes to hold himself to. And for the flies that you might yourself buy. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Uh, this is Wilson Apollo Were, the owner of Anglers Diet International, the company that deals with flies. Uh, it's uh, a company that I've run for the last five years now. Uh, after having worked in a, a fully mill, a Kenyan factory uh, in the western part of the country. Uh, that is Kenya, where I worked for about 15 years, starting from being a tire. Uh, then uh, I, I rose through the ranks to become a supervisor, quality checker, and then eventually I became factory manager in charge of uh, quality production. So today, I'm welcoming you to my factory. There are a few patterns I want to tie for you, uh, about three, which are very, very uh, uh, good uh, flies that uh, my customers really want. Whenever they order, I uh, will actually have to find that uh, at least two or three patterns uh, that I'm going to tie must appear in one order or the other. So uh, this afternoon, I'm going to start tying the Royal Wolf dry. As you can see, I have the uh, the hook size 12. It's a dry hook, which we normally buy from our local shops. The local shops uh, import these uh, hooks from from abroad, especially uh, Korea, Japan, uh, and China. So I'll take. Uh, size 12 dry hook, put it there, sorry, and then we normally tie the black wolf 
royal rules with a black tie and silk. There you are. Okay, I'll start tying the royal wolf. You have to make sure the vice is really stable and that it doesn't move. After tying the thread on the shank of the hook, I have to put some little uh, glue so that the body doesn't become loose. And then here is the tail. Here is the tail. Uh, these are local deer. You can never get them here in Kenya. I'll use this one to tie the tail. Then get the best material from it by stacking it. I have hyper stacker with me. I'll stack. Then you can see. Here it is, well stacked. Remove the fibers that I don't want to use. And then place it there. I have to make sure the length of the tail, length of the tail must be equal with the length, the shank of the hook. Then I tie that one off. Then here is another material that we use for tying the wolf. It's a called a calf, calf body, white calf body. They are also found here in Kenya. Some are imported. So my hair stalker. Sorry, sorry. Split the wing into two. Two equal sides. Here is the peacock hairs. I'll just pick one. Tie it in there. Then I have the close red. red. Close red. Tie it in there like that. Trim off the excess material. Now the remaining part is only 
destroying the heckles, which I have in plenty. As you can see, as you can see, these are all uh, Hoffman heckles that we normally get here in Kenya after the shop, shop owners import them from abroad. Then I select the best brown heckle that I'll use for the fly. Sorry, it's not there. We had another bunch. I select yes. I selected the best one. Then you get a small head. Then use that knot to finish off the tying silk. There you are. That is the complete kind of bra. It's a very special bra, uh, which most of my customers really love to order now and again hopefully this video was at least interesting and you could see that um, you know as an international global fly fishing society and community we should support one another regardless of boundaries and borders I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this, but I think it's very interesting and unique to see the perspectives from around the world, and that's what I'd like to implore to you, is that without being judgmental or having a closed mindset, remember that helping someone is still helping someone, and hopefully this inspires you to go out today and go help someone in need. Thank you.